Hello, this is Christy and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use the distort tool in Photoshop to make very uh, significant changes to your images, uh, particularly if you want to straighten some images and turn them from 3D into 2D. So I'm going to illustrate this with a bunch of photos of books. And I have these books and they're all in different positions, photographed on shelves and things like that. So they're not straight, they're not facing the camera and some of them are quite distorted. So I'm going to show you how you can turn these into flat images so that you can use it on the website or whatever. And you can apply the same distortion effect or transformation to other types of images to change perspective or to drag their corners. So let's get into it. I'm going to start with a simple one. So this one here, let me just, let me just drag it into Photoshop. So this picture is obviously rotated. It's not distorted, it's rotated. So very easy to do, very easy. Let's try with an easy one. I'm just going to use the select tool here on the toolbar, the um, the polygonal lasso tool, because I need to select a polygon. It doesn't have to be a rectangle or, or um, a, ra uh, you know, a straight line one. It just it's, it needs to have straight segments on each one of the sides. So I'm going to take this picture of the book and just click on the corners. I'm not going to click exactly on the corners because I want to cut out all of these uh, scuffed edges, right? So I'm going to click on the corners here and here just a bit inside here and in this here and then click to close this off. So now I've made my selection and because my picture is on a layer uh, called background now I cannot do much with it. So I want to cut and paste it. So I'm going to cut control X and control V to paste it into a new layer. I can even uh, hide my uh, background layer so I can see just the picture and click on the picture. And to make it easy for me to align this properly, I'm going to drag a uh, ruler uh, from the guideline from the ruler. If you don't see the rulers on the on the edges here, control R or command R on the Mac. So press that to see it and then click on the edge and drag a guide like so and drag another guide from the top and form a corner here, right? So we will use this to help us adjust it. Let me just create a new layer there so that we can uh, see what we are doing. I'm going to just fill this layer red for now just to see it like that. So this is my picture, control T to wrote, to transform. And if you go to the corners and you, you go slightly outside, you will see the cursor turns into a rotation. So I'm just going to rotate this like that, bring it close to the guides. And you see, I still have a bit to go like this and make sure it aligns perfectly and enter. That was a simple one, wasn't it? And I can just maybe crop it like so and image crop. And here we are. I am ready, my picture. Now that was an easy one. Let's try another one. Let's just close this. I don't need it now. And let's bring in a more difficult one. Let's try this one. That's three, um, 3D, it's a 3D book and I want to make it flat, right? Um, and here it is. So this is the book and I just, I want just the cover. Again, I'm going to select on this layer. I'm going to use the polygonal selection tool and let me zoom in. Uh, and pick up from the corner. Uh, it's better to start with one of the perfect corners. So pick up from the corner. It doesn't matter which, uh, if you go clockwise or anti-clockwise, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to go down here on the corner, down here on this corner, and again on this corner, and then back up to close. Control X to cut, Control V to paste, and let's uh, delete the other layer. So on this layer now, of course, my book is uh, slanted like this. It's 3D. So I can click Control T, uh, press Control T to transform. And again, this is an easy one. Let's drag a guide here. I'm going to align the guide to the top corner and then right click on the image with the transformation handles on and choose skew. This is another one and it's very easy. And the skew allows you to skew from the middle handles here and to slide your picture up and down. So I'm going to bring the top to the align with my guide. Now, 
what happened is the bottom bit is not aligned right because uh, it was a 3d perspective so there while the top is now straight the bottom one is not so i'm gonna have to bring another guide from the top to this corner and align it with this corner here right and then look this is the part that i still need to bring into the picture right so i'm gonna click oh, enter i'm pressing enter to apply the first transform and then press another transform and right click on it and say distort and now i can pull the corners to distort this look like so right so i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna fix this corner on the bottom left so click on the handle and just slide up a bit right like that if you if you want to if you don't want to make mistakes maybe you need to drag a left guide as well so that you can stay within you know the guides there and also it's fine to drag another one on to the right and see look here we have a little bit of a of a distance we need to pull this corner to the right okay like so and then pull this one again there you go until things are looking pretty well aligned press enter to apply and here you go we have turned an image from a 3d one to a 2d one now let's try a very difficult one let's try another one i'm going to close this real quick and bring a very weird let's try this one right so let's try this one okay so this one may look like it's quite difficult to do because of uh, you know the book is not only uh distorted but it's uh it's you know it's turned onto this onto the back onto the side so how do we do this same procedure use the polygonal tool polygonal select tool from here polygonal lasso press l and again it's very easy we just um, need to select on the corner so click on just on the corners like that click on this corner here click on this corner here and this one make sure you stay with inside of the the cover you don't want to be having to you know crop too much later so uh, people are not going to know that you know you were missing like three pixels of the image or something and it will give you a sharper edge so click again in the corner and click again to close now we have our selection i'm going to use again Control x to cut it Control v to paste let's uh let's hide this layer okay so we'll just delete it we don't need it and this is my image now um i'm gonna do something else with this one i'm gonna transform it into a um smart layer so cl right click on the uh, layer here and say convert to smart object this will allow us to keep our data intact while we mess around with it and distort it without having to you know if, if you scale it down and back up i have another video on my channel about this why it is better to use smart objects to transform because if you make it very small you lose that image data if you if you need to scale it back up then you're scaling a worse version of your data so if you convert it to smart objects your data will be preserved how many you know no matter how many transforms you apply to it so we have made this into a smart object and now the same procedure we click we press Control T to transform so here we go this is my object the first thing I want to try is to rotate right so I'm gonna go to the corner whichever corner you like and just uh, rotate the image to turn it vertical first okay so it doesn't matter you just you just go kind of eye just uh, just uh, wing it don't worry about it at the moment and click uh, press enter to apply and of course my image is now uh, gone out a bit so it's it is okay to transform again control T and just drag it down from the corners to make it fit within your canvas so that you you can see what you're doing you can zoom in control plus or control minus to zoom out zoom out and again we want to turn this into a straight book so we, we've done this already pull some guides so you're gonna have to kind of wing it to see what the kind of uh, aspect ratio of your book should be so i'm gonna assume it's gonna be like a uh, of course all books are kind of portraits sort of thing but we don't know exactly so you have to kind of make sure you're not distorting it making it too wide or too squished or whatever so this is my picture now i've created these guides let me just add a new layer so that we can see what's going on so i'm gonna i'm gonna add a new layer and I'm going to just fill it black 
Um, okay, so now we see better what's happening here. We can take this off anytime. So I'm going to click again on my book layer. And this time I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of moving it around. I have my guides here um, and I'm going to hit Control T again and right click and say distort again. Okay. And really all I have to do is just pull on these handles until the book shows up correctly on my uh, inside of my guides. You may have to do some very weird acrobatics with some of the corners, um, you know, to get them to align and like, like so, you know, kind of go, go up and down like that. Always watch the corners and do not worry about anything. You may have to zoom out. You know, this, this really looks like a, like a weird, uh, shape, but if you're just a bit patient, here we go. Uh, feel free to zoom in on any of the corners and pan around to make sure the corners kind of align properly. Okay, here we need to pull it down a bit. Doesn't matter. You can you can always do a little crop just to uh, straighten the edges and get them to sit nice and tight in lo on location where you want them to be. Here we go. So now we we're done transforming this. Press Enter. And finally, I believe we've done it, but I think it feels like the perspective from the camera, obviously, you know, the le right side of the text is out of focus slightly because it was out of focus in the original photo because it was further away from the camera. Plus, it seems to me like the text is slightly slanted to the right. Now, I don't know if that was true in the real in the actual book or not. So the way to fix that is obviously you need to skew this image a bit to the left. Uh, control T and skew and maybe, you know, kind of go like this a bit. But then it's not going to be straight. So you're going to have to crop more. Plus, I believe it's a bit too wide. So what you can do is just uh, pull the right edge. Uh, you can pull the right edge in so you can go to scale and just click on this middle point and just slide uh, left. Make sure you press shift, the shift key while you do this, because otherwise Photoshop is going to try and resize it proportionally like this. See, um, so you don't want that. You actually want to squish it. So you press shift. And then when you drag on this handle to the left, it will squish the, the book on only on that sort of uh, side. You're, you're trying to do it. And then there you go. Press enter. Now, if you're not very happy with this, I, I may have skewed it um, unintentionally. You can skew it back up. If you're not very happy about the edges and they're not very perfect or anything, you can always take the rectangle selection tool, rectangular marquee, and just go inside of your guides a bit and just chop off the edges like that. So just select inside of the book and press image, crop and done. So there you go. So now you can just uh, remove your guides, you know, drag them back onto the ruler just to remove them like that. And there you have it. The book is um, straight. You can, uh, you know, adjust layers and levels and stuff like that. But basically the book was sitting on the table and now it's you know straight in front of you so the distortion tool may be a simple tool and uh, you know you may not know about it or maybe you knew about it for years now but i use it all the time to do just what i've shown you to uh, straighten if i need to load some pictures of books or someone takes a picture of books on uh, using their phone you know and they're not very straight or they have some sort of perspective going on um, i'm i'm not sweating that it's you know just load it into photoshop select the edges like this distort it and boom your image is straight and ready to go as if you had scanned it with your scanner. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you've learned something today. And if you enjoy my tutorials, please feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel and share it and like and comment and see you next time.